You know, when I heard about lesbians do tech, I thought it would be like 80 really irritating lesbians in a room, like yammering on about, you know, JavaScript or something like that. Some hippie lesbians, lots of flannel. I thought the Lesbians Who Tech Summit would be quiet and nerdy. Be a bunch of geeky dykes in a room together, summiting. So I started Lesbians Who Tech really as an experiment. No matter what type of space I went to, I really felt like the lesbian voice was missing from the conversation. So we started hosting small happy hours, and the word quickly spread. Seven ticket sales, ten ticket sales, and then we ended up selling out the venue. And I get to this, this theater, and it was full of lesbians. Like, it was fascinating. We'd have lines out the door with women who were not only hungry for community, but the ability to connect over something they were passionate about. And then this crazy thing happened where people, you know, in other cities, in other countries, started emailing me. So we launched events in Austin, LA, New York, DC. We started doing international summits. We grew to 10,000 members, 15,000. We launched two new programs, a coding scholarship fund for LGBTQ women and a one day career shadowing program called Bring a Lesbian to Work Day. And today we are a community of 50,000 non-binary LGBTQ women and the people who love us. I describe it as lesbian Disneyland. Everybody has a smile on their face, a little hula hooping over there, some break dancing on the stage. All these people like were out of their chairs, like fist pumping and whooping. The Lesbians Who Tech Summit is full of badass women and the other tech conferences are not. It's the most inclusive, the most exciting, the most vibrant and like warm feeling when you're, when you're there and it's really awesome. This is technologists from across the board working in the smallest nonprofit to the hugest tech company. It's one of the blackest conferences I've ever been to. I know that Lesbians Who Tech consciously makes sure that at least 50% of their speakers are of color, and that's significant to me. To be able to know that I have a base of community that's there to support me was what kept me going. There were many times I wanted to quit, but I knew that you know, lesbians will tech sort of have my back. I think it's absurd to think that innovation lies in the providence of white men in Silicon Valley. It's people of color and women who are innovating all of the time. Um, there is a problem in tech when you think about the culture. It is very homogenous. The creators are not representative of the users. Lesbians in tech was the first place I heard talk about these issues. You can have an inclusive tech conference. I think the work that Lesbians Who Tech is doing is so important because the conversation about tech and diversity is not finished and it's not fixed. Representation matters and being able to see yourself in a position that you want to get in for people who are thinking about jumping into tech is powerful. Uh, what keeps me coming back to Lesbians Who Tech is the lesbians who tech. There's a lot of them. Being part of this amazing community that's just innovative, that embraces me as I am and loves me for who I am, that's what keeps me coming back. Each time it gets bigger and better as well, and that's also really exciting because it really makes me think, like, where can we take this movement? This is really the beginning of something. So often we're left out of the spectrum of who is in tech, and there's no fear here to be who you are. How this environment is, why don't we just act like this all the time? Really treating each other well and expecting greatness of each other and helping each other do what we do. Being here to me means bringing about a world in which a young woman can grow up thinking, I can do that too. Holy shit, I, this is awesome! Well, the tech sector is nowhere close to where it needs to be when it comes to diversity, I am hopeful because of what we've been able to build together at Lesbian 2 Tech. Our speakers are 50% women of color, 15% transgender and gender nonconforming. They're curing cancer, building rocket ships, and serving in some of the highest ranks of our government. This is what the face of technology actually looks like. We just need you to keep showing up, taking a few notes, pushing for change, and one day I know we'll create a tech sector that reflects the people who actually live in this country. Welcome to Lesbians Who Tech.